My name is Bruce Borkovich. I'm the police chief at Ferris State University, and welcome to this week's episode of Down with DPS. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, consent as far as sexual activity. Consent is a, a, a voluntary and positive agreement between participants to engage in certain sexual activity. Positive, voluntary consent is a verbal agreement. It, it's, it's conversation between uh, participants any time during that activity, uh, either person has the right to say, no, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be involved. And at that point, the consent is revoked. It doesn't exist anymore. But it's clear what isn't consensual. Any uh, threat or coercion makes that uh, activity non-consensual. If a person is highly intoxicated, uh, either with alcohol, drugs, or a combination, or they're asleep, or they're otherwise incapacitated, uh, that isn't consent. Just because a person doesn't verbally say no, that doesn't mean they've given consent. Far more often than not, it is uh, people who know each other, uh, they're together voluntarily, and it's very important in those situations to understand what consent is and what consent isn't. Consent is so important on a college campus because there's sexual activity that, that is going to happen on a college campus. There's also very often situations where one or more of the participants is highly intoxicated. Alcohol and drugs or a combination can obviously affect our judgment. It affects our impulse control. So it's important to understand that if you're interested in sexual activity with someone who's intoxicated, you could be really setting yourself up for serious trouble. One of the most important things students can do on a college campus is look out for each other. If you are out partying with friends, uh, hang together. So if a person feels like they may have been a victim of a non-consensual uh, a sexual act of some kind, um, we encourage them uh, to go to the hospital and be examined by a SANE nurse, S-A-N-E, Sexual Assault Nurse Examiner. They're specifically trained uh, to examine a person physically and then collect evidences if any evidence is present. We also encourage uh, a victim to contact the University Police Department and report it. We also encourage them to immediately contact the University's Title IX office. This has been another episode of Down with DPS. See you next week.